Hello everyone, my name is Desala, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. So today I'm talking about some of the skills that you need to become a fashion designer. So I'm an African inspired, ready to wear fashion designer, I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria and I've been in business for nine years. So yes, I am a fashion designer and um, I, did, I didn't start my career as a fashion designer. I started my career working in a corporate job and I was in a corporate job for a couple of years before I left and I started a fashion business. So before I started, I went to learn um, how to sew. And I think that one of the basic things of being a fashion designer is knowing the basics of sewing, basically. So um, I started that way. I did, I did that for about a year before I started my business. When I started my business, I wasn't um, I wasn't very good. I I was I was really I wasn't good really. So I continued. I had people working for me. I still have people that work for me. But along the line, as time went by, I had to go and perfect my skills because as a fashion designer, you need to really really know how to sew. Even if you're not going to be the person that is going to sew the garment, you're not, you, you need to know how to sew. Knowing how to sew has really, really helped me because it's, it helps me to um, know how to translate my designs. So I cut as I, I, as I, want, the, as I want the clothes to be is the way that I cut. And for the average um, tailor, they can understand when they see patterns. They know what to do when they see patterns. And at the same time, you know, when you have tailors and all, this, all that people working for you, they, 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 they may have an idea of your vision, but they, they, they don't, they, there's only so much they know. So you are the only one that understands and sees. So sees what, you, what your vision is for your clothing line and your garments. So you are the only one that can translate to them and explain to them how you want this to be. So you may not necessarily be perfect, but you need to know the basics. You need to know the basics of how to, how to sew. A lot of people start fashion businesses not having a clue whatsoever. And it's okay if you don't have a clue, but just have it at the back of your mind that it is necessary that you go and learn how to sew. Because if you don't, in the future, it's going to come back and bite you. So you need to tell you that now so that you don't have issues later on. You know, on this side of the world, you know, I don't know about other places. I've only run my business within Nigeria and I can only speak for how it is here. From experience, I noticed that when you don't know how to sew, people tend to take you for a ride. People tend to take advantage of you. People, you know, just do all the works with you when they know that you don't really know anything. But when you know what you are doing and you know how to translate your designs, you know, it helps a lot. I've seen people that they run their fashion businesses and... They will just come to work one day and all their tailors are gone. Or they will come to work one day, every person that is working for them is gone. Or one person is gone, another person is waiting and looking around. And when you ask that person, where is X, Y, and Z? I don't know. I don't know. Lies, 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 lies. Meanwhile, they know where the person is. They know where the, what, what is happening. And they are also planning their own exit strategy. So you need to be very, very careful. You need to learn how to sew. So apart from learning how to sew, you need to understand and learn how your business works, how your business works and how a fashion business should work, how it should work, how it should run. You need to learn it you need to understand this and you need to understand how your own business runs as well. It's very, very important because how will you have a business that you don't know how your business runs? If they come and meet you and they ask you, they say, eh, how many garments do you have in, in your shop? You say, I don't, 
let me call uh, let me call this my girl she will tell me what's the uh, how many of this 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 that i have how many of you know i don't know how to explain it but as i am if you wake me up in the middle of the night if you ask me general questions about my the, the clothes that i sell ask me how many clothes i have in my shop at this point in time, as we sit down, I know how many are that there are. For any garment I make, I know how many pieces I need. So, you need to know these basic things. Try not to rely too much on people. It's good to employ them to assist you in the business, to work for you. But don't just dump everything on them and expect that, okay, they are doing a good job. They will continue to do a good job. One day, basically, they will leave you alone. And when they leave you alone, you now start running around like a headless chicken. And then you start looking for um, somebody. You find somebody. You now start having, thinking of how you're going to start to put the person through, train the person, this, that, 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 this, that. Basically, man, just know how your business runs. Understand how your business runs. These are some of the things that it takes to be a fashion designer. Another thing it takes to be a fashion designer is that you also need to be able to understand fabric. You need to be able to understand how fabric is, how they can be used. All designs cannot be made with one fabric and one fabric cannot make all kinds of designs. You know, you need to know what kind of fabric will be best suited to a particular kind of design. What what fabric will will bring out a particular kind of bring out the beauty of a particular kind of design you need to know how your colors work colors are also very important in fashion business for for me i love colors i'm a very 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 colorful person i love colors a lot so you need to know how to work with your colors if you are not a colorful person you still need to know how your colors work. You need to know how to mix and match your colors. Another skill that is required in being a fashion designer. I see some people, they're tailors. And there's nothing wrong in it. There's nothing bad in it. And when you ask them, I'm a fashion designer. And you give them, a, tell them, okay, make this garment for me. Go and source the fabric source the trimmings, source the whatever, whatever, and make one spectacular, you know, thing for me. Let's see. They can't. So if you want to be a successful fashion designer, it's not about just about knowing how to sew. Knowing how to sew is very important. But you also need to know how to design. You also need to know how to mix and match. You also need to know how to mix and match colors with designs, mix and match colors with colors and all those kind of jazz, all those kind of jazz that make people turn their heads and look at your design twice. Not just look and say, oh, yeah, it's just nothing special. In as much as knowing how to sew is very important, you also need to know how to design very well. You want to know how to mix and match. There are people that are very good at design and don't know how to sew at all at all. That one is good. But at the same time, please have an idea so that it won't put you in trouble tomorrow. Just have an idea. So basically, I would consider myself to be a self-taught fashion designer because majority of what I know, I would say 90% of everything that I know, I learned on the job. If, even if not, if not more than 90%, I learned most of everything that I know on the job. It's good to go to fashion school. It is required that you go Either you can go to fashion school or you go and apprentice somewhere. I did both. So you know how businesses run. You know how to do certain things related to running a fashion business and related to being a successful fashion designer. So you find that one of the reasons why a lot of fashion, fashion, fashion designers run into problems is because they feel that they can sketch very well, they're very good at sketching. The thing is, sketching is very good. It's good to know how to sketch. 
But these sketch, sketches that you are doing, how do you bring them to life? If you have no clue how you bring them to life, well, I don't know. But at some point in time, at a point in time in your business, or at some point in time in your business, you have to go and learn how these designs are being cut, how these designs are being made, so that you don't have problems in the future. So yes, I think that's it for my video today. My video is very short. Thank you for watching my video. I hope my video was helpful. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And um, put on the notification bell. And um, yeah, so that, you, so that you know when I upload a new video. So yes, I will see you next week. Bye.